In the beginning, it was just a, a hobby. Um, we have a little test orchard in Libertyville, and it just started out as a fun project. We started putting ads in newspapers and on Facebook to pick people's apples at their homes. So we traveled around the county and we just got every wild apple we could get. We bought a quarter of a cow and we started making burgers in my kitchen and we started making cider in my basement and that's sort of how the whole thing evolved. We started actually on the square here in Fairfield, Iowa. We were renting a, a previous space and I really wanted to bring a both boutique and budget-friendly wine store to the Midwest, um, something that people could afford to enjoy every day, not just on special occasions. We moved here shortly after we closed a restaurant in Asheville, North Carolina, and we knew that we wanted to open another restaurant here, and we really wanted to provide something for the community that didn't already exist here, and also kind of elevate the food game a little bit, and bring something that, you know, maybe feels comfortable and familiar, like the burger and the chicken sandwich, but also expertly, expertly crafted. We do not cut the steaks out. It's, a, it's whole beef or whole cow burger. Um, everything goes into the grind. We also finish our cattle on apples, so we try to make it one full circle. I like to have a lot of cross promotion. Um, we serve not only the cideries that are, are both located here in town, but we also offer uh, oils and vinegars from one of our really great local businesswomen who's, who's doing infused oils and vinegars. I always like to joke, it's kind of like Team Fairfield. We're not trying to push anybody outside of their comfort zone, but we also want to bring them something that's a little bit different. So something that, like she said, feels familiar in one bite, but in that same bite, it also feels like something new and different all at the same time. We have wine selections here from all parts of the world, which is why we like to really showcase everything available in the world. We have Lebanese, we have Israeli, we have South African, Greek. The barn is all constructed from local timber. Um, we milled wood from Livingston Timber here in the parking lot. We're also purchasing vegetables from the, the local university here. They have an agricultural program, and so we purchase our vegetables from there and we get our beef local. So they expect to see some amazing architecture and some great food.